And a troubled airliner marks a somber anniversary. Six months ago today, Malaysia Flight 370 vanished over the Indian Ocean. Until that plane is found, the investigation into what caused the jet to go down is at a standstill. This morning, families of the missing continued the very agonizing wait for information. Jeff Begay joins us with a massive search for answers. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. Family members still looking for answers gathered at a temple in Beijing. They are angry. They are frustrated. This remains still one of the biggest aviation uh, mysteries uh, in history. Still no sign of the Boeing 777 or the 239 people on board. The search is set to resume sometime this month. Six months later, investigators remain convinced the answers are here. Here in the southern Indian Ocean, off the coast of Australia, where experts have narrowed the search zone to a 23,000 square mile area about the size of West Virginia. Over the last several weeks, mapping of the sea floor has found depths up to four miles. When the search resumes, sophisticated underwater sonar equipment and video cameras will be used to hopefully identify parts of the plane. That search will continue until all that is humanly possible to be done uh, has been done to scour the probable impact zone. 26 countries have aided a search that spanned land, air and sea. Teams first looked in the South China Sea and then shifted their focus. We had so much time wasted at the beginning of the crash. So we had so little data available. And then the data we did have that we knew was solid was not being acted upon. Not knowing the truth is frustrated families and loved ones of the people on board the missing plane. Sarah Bajak's life partner, Philip Wood, was one of the 239 people on board. She says she misses him every morning and every night. Closure means a final answer and being able to bring our loved ones home. I, I, I need to bring Philip home to bury him properly or to have him back in my life again, one of the two. She blames the Malaysian government and the airline for unnecessary delays and misinformation. But the airline has been dealing with another tragedy. Just four months after the disappearance of MH370, another Malaysia air jet, MH17, was shot down over conflict-ridden eastern Ukraine. A company that was already working to repair its reputation was dealt another blow, and now it is an airline struggling to fill seats and stay in business. The future is uncertain for the families of the missing as well. Sarah Bajak says she is anxious, frustrated, but also hopeful. I still feel Philip with me. Uh, I feel that connection is still alive. What I know is that he continues to reside in my heart. And that gives me the strength to continue to push to try to find him and bring him home. Investigators say there are more than 1,000 different flight paths the plane could have taken after it turned south, but they are focused along what's called the seventh arc. And the leading theories are that there was a mechanical problem or the pilots intentionally brought the plane down. Hmm. So, so they're focusing on the pilots now. And, and what, what do they think? What's the theory that... Well, because of so many of the systems in the plane somehow being disabled, the prevailing theory seems to be that it was some sort of pilot action in the cockpit. But until you have the black boxes, it's really mm -hmm. hard to tell. I keep thinking about those families, Jeff. I remember watching this story 24-7. There were pings that would say it's in this area, pings there. I remember going to bed thinking, when we get up in the morning, we will know something. Could, it, could have we reached the stage, we were talking about this during the break, that we may never really know what happened? Well, I, I think it's fair to say that there have been a lot of false starts with this investigation and the families, you can understand how they are frustrated, yes. but they're going to resume the search. Uh, it may take up to a year is what they've told the families. For yeah. those who believe it somehow is still somewhere, uh, do they just simply dismiss that, i.e. that it did not go into the ocean? Well, it's, again, it's, it's a hard investigation at this point. The ocean, that part of the world is really uncharted territory so they have to map the sea floor and it's really deep so there is a lot of work to do to get some answers for these families and it took two years to find the air france flight so it did we will yeah. see jeff thank you so much good to see you